A program begins with last weekend's plane hijacking incident in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in northwest China. Six hijackers tried to take control of a plane flying from Hotan to Urumqi. While the attempt failed after passengers and crew realized what was happening and fought back. A number of people were injured in the ensuing scuffle. Yuri, tell us more on how the attack unfolded. Passengers aboard Tianjin Airlines flight GS7554 must have breathed an especially big sigh of relief after their plane finally touched down safely on Friday. Just 10 minutes after the plane took off, six passengers attempted to wrestle control of the plane. Liu Zhijun was one of the first to figure out what a commotion was about. My first instinct was they're hijacking the plane because they're holding tools and shouting. I unfastened the seatbelt and saw they had lit something on fire. My reaction was they're trying to bomb the plane. The result would be unimaginable. So without too much thinking, I got up to fight them. As three hijackers were trying to break into the cockpit using a broken aluminum crutch, the others attacked passengers and crew with metal tools. Houghton Airport surveillance tapes show one of the men faking a disability to pass through security armed with a caged metal stick. The aluminum pipe they used as a weapon was hidden inside a crotch. Fortunately, there were four policemen on board who joined with other passengers to fend off the attack. I read it for us to fight together against them. Then all the people in the cabin joined in, shouting people from different ethnic groups uniting to restrain the hijackers. Ten minutes later, the hijackers had all been restrained. Now arrested, police say their identities have been confirmed and the case is under investigation. I took part in the hijacking attempt together with five others. Our aim was to fly the plane out of the country for a holy war. It's clear that without the united front against the would-be terrorists, the flight would have ended in disaster. The Xinjiang regional government has commanded 10 people, including crew members and police officers, for their bravery and efforts to subdue the men. Really, CCTV. And for more on this, we're joined live by reporter Hunan, who is standing by in Urumqi Airport in Xinjiang. Well, good evening, Hunan. Of course, this is a result of the breach of airport security. So what happened to the security checks in Urumqi, Hunan? Hi, Zhou Yun. I'm now at Ulumichi Airport and on my way here, I strongly feel that the security check level was raised. The security staff is strengthened noticeably. Double checks are set up at the entrance doors of the terminals for luggage and the passengers separately, and the uh, explosive residue testing equipments are also in place. While the check-in takes longer time, also at the uh, security check counters, all passengers have to take their belts and shoes off together with the overcoats and the hats. Meanwhile, the uh, baggage X-ray ex uh, examination, also um, the baggage re uh, the baggage X-ray examination, is more strict than usual, mm -hmm. and uh, almost uh, half the bags are opened for manual check. Of course, Hunan, this uh, is a terror attack. Uh, the investigation may take long longer than several days. But what do the local people think about this, especially the Uyghurs? Uh, uh, firstly, we have to know that Xinjiang is home for nearly 9 million Uyghurs and 4 million people of other minority groups, together with 8.7 million Han people. The, uh, the uh, composition of Xinjiang's population is rather mixed, so were the boarding passengers on the would-be hijacked plane GS7554. Well, uh, the uh, uh, Uyghurs and the Kazakh ethnicity passengers have contributed much in overcoming the uh, hijackers. Ten of the passengers were uh, suffered uh, 10 of the passengers suffered uh, injuries uh, with two of whom were hurt seriously while the local residents condemn such uh, hijacking attempts strongly one safeguard told us that such behavior is a disrespect of human lives and uh, the possible consequences of the hijacking if they succeeded would have been a disaster for the boarding passengers and their family and the social uh, stability as a whole so yeah
Well, luckily, that hijacking was followed by the passenger. Thank you, Hong An, for your reporting from Urumqi in Xinjiang. Well, in response to the Ford hijacking of plane, airports across this country have actually upgraded their security checks. For more on this, let's talk to my colleague Li Kefu here at the studio. Well, good evening, Kefu. Good evening, Sylvia. Tell us more about, about the upgraded security checks in airports all over China. What do passengers need to know about this? Well, so as you just mentioned, authorities across China have strengthened security checks after the foiled hijacking of an aircraft in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region on Friday. Many airports, including Shanghai, Pudong, and Hongqiao Airport, say they had implemented second-level security in light of this attack. And normally, passengers are advised to arrive between 90 minutes and two hours before a domestic flight in China and up to three hours for international flights. But now they will probably need to add up to one hour more to uh, get sufficient time to get through security and in many large airports more pass passengers will be asked to take off their shoes and unbuckle their belts which before this was not com common in airports in China. The frequency of checks on carry-on bags is also expected to increase and the similar security measures were taken during 2010 Shanghai Expo and 2008 Beijing Olympics. In addition, Airports in Guangzhou and Shenzhen in South South China and Shenyang in Northeast China have established an ex exclusive channel of security checks for flights to Urumqi, the mm. capital of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And of course, over Xinjiang security checks at the airport are especially tight. Uh, it's reported that people have been lining up outside the airport building uh, waiting for their turn to enter the Urumqi International Airport. So do arrive early if you have a tra travel plans these days. All right, and to speak more about this attempted hijacking in Xinjiang and also what you should do in case you're caught in the middle of a hijacking attempt, we're now joined on the phone line by Mr. Yan Shui. He's an analyst with the Counterterrorism Department of the China Institute of Contemporary International Relations. Mr. Yan, thanks for joining us here on the News Hour. I want to first talk about this attempted hijacking in Xinjiang. Uh, what I'm curious about is after 9 11, there's been visible increase of security at airports all around the world, including here in China. Uh, you have all kinds of high-tech equipment, baggage screeners, surveillance cameras, and so on. Are you surprised that these people were able to get through sophisticated security, not one or two of them, but six of them? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. As you see, in recent years, there are more and more incidents uh, related to destroying a plane. And the most recent one happened in April this year when the Al-Qaeda in Arab Peninsula tried to bomb a plane bound for U.S. Mm -hmm. And historically, see, uh, many terrorist organizations had tried to uh, target the air transportation. They have tried uh, all their best because a single lapse in the aviation security can result in hundreds of deaths and destroy equipment worth hundreds of millions of dollars and have immeasurable negative impacts on the economy and the public's confidence in air travel. So, at, uh, so attacks on air transportation have been one of the most deadly and spectacular tax tactics employed by terrorists. Uh, Mr. Yan, and this I'm sure is a question that a lot of our viewers watching this program would want to know. If you are caught in the middle of a hijacking attempt, if you're a civilian caught in the middle of a hijacking attempt, how should you respond? What, what should be your ideal response? Okay, based on my uh, research, there is no international recognized standard for passengers or crews on the plane on how to react when facing hijacking incident. However, due to the hijackers in recent years often plan to kill as many people as possible rather than a hijack plane for money. Yeah, so it is suggested uh, that passengers and, uh, and crews on the plane uh, should remain calm and alert when facing uh, an incident like this and try to find uh, the opportunity to fight against the hijackers. The head of the Civil Aviation Authority has praised the country's anti-hijacking mechanism after the incident in Xinjiang. Li Jiangxiang said more efforts are currently underway to further upgrade aircraft safety. We will look into the experience of the foiled hijacking. We will adopt new measures with regard to new situations and trends to strengthen our work. Lee spoke highly of the aircraft crew, saying they played a key role in defusing the tension. 
The Civil Aviation Administration of China is set to issue a commendation to the crew of flight GS-7554, honoring them with a the former title Heroic Anti-Hijacking Crew. Local government was also quick to honor the passengers who helped avert the hijacking. Those included policemen, medical workers, government officials, and some lawyers. Yeah. 